Newton's second law of motion. You all know it. But as we delve deeper into Newtonian mechanics, I need you to more than know it. I need you to be able to see it. So, when I ask what is acceleration, don't immediately think numbers. Instead, close your eyes. And imagine a ball being shot across the sky. Now, imagine an identical ball in outer space racing with the ball on Earth with the same force applied. Which ball would win a race? You don't need to raise your hand to speak here, Albert. Oh, <clears throat> really? Well, uh, the ball in outer space would win because it's traveling in a vacuum. I have another question. Go on. Well, now I'm imagining that the ball is traveling in deep space. With... There's no stars or planets around it. Acceleration is the derivative of velocity with respect to time. Well, how do we know that the ball is moving at all if there's nothing to compare its motions to? In other words, what is time? And for that matter, what is space? Newton's Principia, Volume 1. Absolute true and mathematical time of itself and from its own nature flows, flows equitably, equitably without relation to anything external. Time and space absolute, I know. Yes. Well, then let's move on. But when pressed on the subject of absoluteness, Newton said, the deity endures forever, and by existing always and everywhere, he constitutes duration and space, which in short is saying, <laughs> I have no idea, but... God must, so that. Albert? I, I know I, sh I should. Go. Sit down. Well, it looks like we are going to have an interesting year. <laughs>